Hi Aries, how are you guys? All right, I think I'm on week three. So this is reading from mid-June into the third week of June. Universe Angel Spirit Guides. My, my audience is my queens, male or female. The incoming energies will be the kings, please. Male or female, doesn't matter. Make it a little bit simple for a large audience. Um, if it was a private reading, of course, it would be specific. <laughs> I wouldn't ask of that. I would know. Um, but yeah. All right. Let's see what's going on. Second or third week of June for my beautiful Aries. Thank you. Eight of Pentacles. All right. So I can already see the theme. This is about hard work and you following uh, true to your craft. What you, what you do to make money. Um, yeah, maybe some of you are like scared to go out there and just bank on it or do it, but it looks like a lot of you are keeping your head down, working really, really hard on yourselves, whether it's literally your job or your own personal shadow self. What's the situation for week three, please, of June for Aries? What's the situation? All right. <laughs> the devil, which could be a Capricorn also. Oh, my God. The Hermit, which is Virgo. Someone's coming out of Hermit mode. That's for fact. Wow. You guys are dealing... This toxic person that you were dealing with or the toxic situation that you were dealing with with somebody that you have mutual love with um, pretty much is back in your energy, in your orbit. I only say your orbit energetically, not making actual moves because they're stalking you. What's coming towards them? That's the situation. There's a seven of pentacles in reverse. That's probably you has let go of the time and energy that you invested in the past. Now this person is probably going to communicate with you. Let's see. Let me not keep talking here. Let me just pull them all out. What's the surprise for my beautiful Aries clan? Uh huh. Let's see. What's the um, surprise, please? you what is their advice spirit what is their advice interesting okay what is the outcome please for the week the outcome please All right, let me see what's going on now in your recent uh, past and situation uh, so I can see which areas I'm talking to. Now, the overall theme of the week for mid-June, second to third week of June, I have the Ten of Wands. This is you working really hard. This is you being exhausted. This is you being tired like this dude. Like you always feel like your house is on fire. Um, burdens, a lot of baggage, a lot of stuff that you're dealing with. Um, I just feel like for me, though, this is more like a lot is on your mind. Uh, you're also physically and mentally exhausted. That's what that makes me feel like for you guys. Like uh, You're trying to unpack your own personal luggage, your own personal issues, and you're overwhelmed because you are working hard at work and you have also a family and you're putting yourselves out there and you're reconsidering your love lives. It's a lot. And you're unpacking all of that and that's what that feels like to me at least that's what you're gonna be like mind frame feel wise mid-june now at the bottom of the deck i do have three of wands so you guys energetically are still waiting for somebody maybe you're telling yourselves vocally and verbally you're not but somewhere at the deep of your deep of the back of your head and your mind you, you kind of are if that's not you then it's your person um, seven of Wands, yes, yeah, somebody resisting. Uh, five of Swords, this is you, Aries, making that decision that, you know what, I can't carry these five swords, so here, have them back. I don't want them because I'm exhausted, I'm tired. And yeah, you're no longer fighting for a situation, waiting for somebody. This person, though, might be. Somebody here was very immature in their decision-making process. 
Yeah, you you might have had a mini reconciliation. You might have had an in and out, on and off, and then you had a connection, right? A mini connection. After not talking to this person for a while, long time, right? The high priestess. Your your foundation fell apart. You stopped talking. And then you had a mini reconciliation. I say mini because clearly something happened. The both of you realized that you make each other happy. All right? But then you were stuck again. It's like, what is this? Wash and repeat? What the fuck? It's like we always come to this place where we get stuck. And then we, we're not moving forward anymore. Um, the page of wands in reverse. That's why I was said immature. It's like hitting a, a brick wall. It's like saying not going out to see what else is out there so you're you're thinking in your heads aries all right let me just cut my losses i'm resisting this connection because honestly i'm just done tired of waiting but this person i think is waiting for you to do something one of the two you is waiting and the other person is resisting and this is just exhausting this is just like this back and forth and you're like oh, i'm so tired of it i know we both like each other i know we both want each other but somebody here is operating out of negativity and toxic behavior. And we keep going around and around in the same circles. And you're like, I'm not having it anymore. It's like, it either moves or it doesn't. Now, for those of you who are like completely in no contact, you're getting a little bit more of the same. I hate to say it, but here it is. Here's this person, the devil. Could be Capricorn, doesn't have to be. But the same toxic crap. So for me, this feels like for some of you, it's like repeating a cycle, repeating patterns, same patterns all over again. This person comes in, gives you a tiny little offer, page of pentacles, opens the door, knows that you both love each other, but doesn't put in the strong effort to make it work, comes in from time out and just and then sits there and stalks you and doesn't do any hardcore moves. Like, where the hell were all the hardcore moves when you first met? Where all of, where's all of that? Where did that all go? <laughs> That's what you're saying. You're like, where did all of that go? The, the, the whole reason I came towards you in the first place. Where's all of that? Why am I getting this tiny little page? Which is what? A, a, a text that says, hey, what's up? Or, hey, let's, let's talk, but there's no firm plans. It's something like that. Sorry, my nose is itchy, guys. You know, this means spirit guides are here. Now, what's coming towards you is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, which is no longer putting time and effort or energy into a situation. Eight of Wands, having that communication going back and forth. So now, guys, this is the future stuff. Because this is current situation mid-June. This is moving forward. Because I know somebody out there was asking me, like, oh, could you just read more future stuff? Well, yeah, I can, but you have to understand. We talk about the past so we can understand the, the past to understand what's going on in your present to be able and capable of handling the future that's the whole reason we do that and that's why we also go deep into advice so when we know it's coming how to mitigate it now you're having communication here in the future position with somebody you stopped investing time and energy with when this person comes towards you yeah they're your wish fulfillment yeah they're gonna make you happy this is the nine of cups though but this is on a self level they're gonna make you happy this is truly wish fulfillment, the sun and the nine of cups. When this person calls and contacts you and you communicate with somebody you stopped investing time and energy with. We're going to clarify and we'll get a little bit more detail in regards to this. But I see how you're going to feel when this happens. Because this person has been watching you this whole entire time. They too might have taken it. Like as you went into hermit mode, so did they. They took a self-imposed hermit mode. I just think that they operate differently from you, Aries. Now, um, what you don't see coming is the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Finally, somebody here wants stability in working towards the situation with you. Because here you are. You're somebody that's nurturing, loving, kind, caring, and giving. You give the shirt off your back. But you're not going to give it to just anybody. So you want to know if the person is worthy of you. This is why you, you do what you do, Aries. This is why you, you retract your energy from a person. Because if somehow, subconsciously, deep down, they make you feel like, A, you're inferior, or B, uh, they're not worthy of your time, that's your subconscious coming to the surface and saying, no, I'm removing myself energetically from you because you're not making me feel like I could put you on a platform. Because that's something you instinctually do anyway. And you don't want to do it for just somebody who's going to be treating you like half-baked. 
But here's what's interesting, what you don't see coming, is this person is actually going to want to collaborate with you. Obviously, this is somebody you've been dealing with, for them to want to work with you. This can be work-related, guys, because this is talking about your stability. We'll clarify and we'll see in a moment. In your advice, I have the Two of Pentacles, yep, in reverse. No longer juggling a situation. Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, this is two storylines right there. I'll tell you in a hot second because this is Aries card also. Um, and the Wheel of um, Fortune in reverse. Okay. Some things obviously do not need to reinvent reinvent the wheel Aries now with you being in reverse here's the two storylines because this is in your advice position um, if you're a mister or mistress no that's not going to do you anything it's not going to do you any service it's only going to create bad karma on top of it so you don't want that you want to get out of that kind of energy now if you're not in a third party situation the others of you it's like you need to stabilize yourself you need to come back home all right, because you're in every other element other than your own, which if you can remember before you were stressed, before you were sad, before you went in hermit mode, how were you? How happy were you? And that energy is, is like a live wire, which is probably why you had somebody come towards you in the first place. Usually you're the life of the party. Everybody wants to hang out with you. You find uh, action, no problem. But now it's just like constant sad, um, withdrawal, uh let me just work on my career which is fine but you're not in your element this is why you have the ten of wands you're exhausted and you're tired and you want out you you are this fire here but you're like i just want to blow it all up and just start fresh and new and, and be happy again and spirits encouraging you to do that if you or if you're waffling back and forth between a person you're in and out stop doing that no more if you're weighing your pros and cons about a situation, make a finite decision and move on. Because um, the Two of Pentacles is talking about juggling. I also, here's what I'm intuitively picking up from this channeling wise. I feel like you guys have been waffling between two situations and now you've come to terms, either you've come to terms with something or you've made a decision on something. And I'm not just talking about love uh, and your person that you're dealing with. I'm, I'm talking about your life in general. I think also with work. So if you have a side hustle, a main hustle, if you were like, should I just go take that whatever job just so I can make money? Uh, or should I, you know, go for that thing that makes me happy, that passionate thing? Whatever. Spirit's like encouraging you to make that decision. Uh, I do have another message that I'm picking up intuitively in your advice position. Guys, what you've been going through, this whole hermit mode, this whole like not talking to your partner, the, the lessons that you've been learning last year and up to this year, they weren't just because of your relationships to understand your worth and your value. It's about you as a person in all your relationships, how you're treated by everybody, by your friends, by your parents, by your spouses, even your bosses. So maybe in the past, like you had a job and you had a boss that was kind of like treating you like telling you certain things and out of fear you'd be like oh okay whatever and you would do it to the point where it built up out of frustration and you would just ghost you would just leave you're like fuck this i can't take it no more or you would have a big fight and you would leave well no you've learned the lessons from your relationship to apply to work because i'm seeing a bunch of pentacles here too i'm seeing a bunch of stability here too so spirits like saying you've learned lessons from there that you can input in other avenues of your life so if you're dealing with a difficult boss, you can now see how they're reacting to something on an egotistical level, on an emotional level, a non-logical, you get it. But you know where your borders are and then you adjust and then you, you have your options. And then it makes it easy for you to decide that you don't have to juggle shit. You could just clearly make an effective decision and move on and not even stress it. That was a weird ass message that I got, but that's what I got. <laughs> Now, moving on, and sorry it was so long. Your outcome, strength and the world, interesting. Um, you are gonna start a new chapter, which I do love, uh, but you are using your strength to hold back from something. We'll see in a minute of what that is. Again, it's like, you know, when you're at work or something like that that I was just saying, and you wanna tell off your boss, <laughs> but you gotta hold back, and you're like, fuck it, I'll just start a new chapter, but I'll do what I gotta do use this the, the situation to my advantage not in a mean way but doing what i gotta do what's better for my greatest and highest good 
and that's what you're going to do, a new chapter. But let's see why you're holding back. It can be a person, too. You could be holding back from saying something that you really want to to somebody. Um, or it can be somebody, uh, it can be vice versa. Somebody else is holding back from talking to you and just saying, oh, let's just start a new chapter. Sometimes you can't just do that. Uh, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. All right. I gotta use my glasses for this. It's got like the tiniest text in the world. Universe, angel, spirit, guides. Why is the devil here? The page of pentacles, the two of cups, and the page of swords. Swords. Interesting. I like that. I suspect you're going to have a conversation with your person or whoever it is that you're dealing with. Uh, and then when you have this conversation, you both realize that you actually both love each other. Or if this is business related, you, you could be a great partnership here with somebody. Uh, wow. Yeah. Look, the star is here going towards your true north going on the right path um yeah after a period of regret and resentment from the past a message on an emotional level comes forward like an invitation of some kind and this puts you on the path a hopeful path a happy path um but what fell out was the ace of swords clarifying this when you have this conversation you realize that you're both mutually in love or that you could be an awesome couple Again, you could be dealing with Capricorn. Others of you, you're going to have a conversation about this toxicity. And that's when this offer comes in. So I suspect what's going to happen is your person, or maybe even you, Aries, will have a communication. Be like, this is you or the, your other person saying, hey, let's have a conversation. And you get on the same page. All right? You come out of hermit mode because somebody's just sitting here stalking. Others of you, I think your person is just sitting there on their self-imposed time out, just stalking. But regardless of the stalking, it's, you're still, this, com this communication is gonna go down. I say that because in the future position, I see the Eight of Wands. Now, the other cards that came out is you, basically. It's the Queen of Cups upright and the Emperor in reverse. First of all, this is you being in love, right? You're emotionally available. You love this person. You're capable of having this connection. But the Emperor in Reverse is talking about being controlling. All right? A little bit manipulative. So you know me. I'm going to give it to you straight. This is also the Aries card. So it's in the Reverse. So some of you could be unstable only because you're letting your emotions get the best of you. But it's in the upright position. So it's like, um, how can I describe this? the best way I know how it you're controlling this dynamic or this situation which is why it could be toxic not from a bad place it's not coming from a place of malice it's coming from a place of being afraid of losing this love I suspect okay because I see the devil there and it's repeating patterns but you're in the reverse so can I have one more card as to why that's reversed Two of one. Oh, you're scared to take a risk. All right. I'm like, oh. Yeah, you're you're scared to take a risk. That's what that is. This person's going to come forward to have a conversation with you, to get on the same page, to have truth, honesty, and clarity. You do love this person, granted, but you're scared to take a risk. That's why you're in the reverse, even though you do love them. Again, it didn't feel like it was a place of malice. It just felt like more of like fear-based fear-based all right let's see what's going on here um in your future position with the seven of wands the eight of cups the nine of cups for some of you this could be happening today tomorrow next week others of you mid-june all different Two of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Interesting. So in your advice, we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse, 
but what's coming towards you, we have the two of pentacles upright with the page of wands. Okay, and then the world, which is also in your outcome. So, when you start communicating with this person again, Aries, with the eight of wands over here, this person that you stopped investing um, time and energy with, and when they do communicate with you, it makes you like stupid happy. It makes you also curious. You're like, what's this all about? Why is this person contacting me? Let me hear what they have to say. Hmm. It just seems like, hmm. He's like, all of a sudden they're contacting me? Why? What do they want? So you're like, this is why you're the emperor in reverse. You're like, I don't know if I should risk this. Does this person want me out of ego? Does this person just want me just to want me? Or, or, or It's something like that. You're curious as to know why. Um, and so you're juggling the situation. This is why you have one foot in and one foot out. Weighing your pros and cons. You're like, all right, I'm really curious. Like, it makes me happy that they contacted me. It makes me happy that they're calling me. But well, why? Why all of a sudden and now after so long? You guys got to let me know that shit. Write it down. Now. Oh, my God. Yeah. And you start a new chapter with this lover. Interesting. Um, what you don't see coming is you being stabilized. Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and your person wanting to work with you. Uh, clarify the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, please. Yeah, this is somebody you haven't been speaking to. The High Priestess. King of Swords. There's your person. All showing you how much they love you, but won't ever tell you. <laughs> No words of affirmation for you. The king of swords is just a very intelligent person, he or she, because the kings are the incoming energies, as we said. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, it could be in their chart. You, you guys know, it's just the energy. The energy is somebody here who's just, you know, very smart, business savvy, very cerebral, very in their head, very analytical, right? And this person was viewing their options. They were making you feel like you were an option. And Aries is like, I'm no fucking option. I am the option. If I'm not the option, get out of my face. Right? And this person comes along and tries to open up to you. They try to make themselves emotionally vulnerable. Um, because they really never let you go energetically. They never cut the cord. Like, never cut the cord. Four of Pentacles. Um... And this is somebody here who basically you are not speaking with. The high priestess is, she's all knowing. She's intuitive. She uses her intuition to make her decisions. And she doesn't speak because she knows the answer. She knows the truth. So she doesn't talk. It's kind of like the same reason why you left in the first place or you let your person leave. You're like, what else is there to say? There's nothing left to say. There's only action to be taken. The correct action. And that's kind of how you were. Um, and you left it there to make them make that decision and they probably weren't making that decision all this time because they were just sitting there pining over the past yep all right universe angel spirit guides what is all of this in reverse in the advice position so those of you that are a mister or mistress universe is saying look shit's not going to change you're always going to be that. So, no. And that's kind of like what you're telling the universe. You're telling the universe, yeah, I'm always going to be a mistress or a mister. I'm always going to be third wheel or third party. That's kind of like what you're energetically putting out there. It's first like, drop that. Because you'll always be second choice. And you don't want that. Others of you, um, you need to make changes in your life with the wheel in reverse. You need to make big changes. And this is you needing to come back home, back to your element, back to your energy sphere. Making decisions. Um, no more putting yourself in these like hangman positions or hermit positions. You know what it felt like before you went into that. Let me tell you how you're coming out on the other end. You're going to be a force to be reckoned with. And I don't even mean in your love life. I mean work-wise. Because the energy that you're learning from this person in your love life, you're going to apply in your relationships even at work. So nobody steps all over you or on top of you. 
or asserts like some ridiculous authority that doesn't have to be. And you don't even have to be aggressive or push it. You could just be like, I see things for what they are. I'm sorry. These are my boundaries. Respect them or goodbye. You're going to be making effective decisions is basically what I'm saying. Clear, effective decisions. No, nothing based off of impulse and, you know, over-emotional um, exaggeration on your part. Oh, my God. Yes. Look at this. You're going to have the strength. Well, this is what Spirit's telling you to do. So it's not like you are. This is what Spirit's asking you to do because it's in your advice and it's blatant. You need the strength to walk away from shit that doesn't work for you. You have to understand, Aries, there's reasons why these things are done to you. It's teaching you where the line is. There's one thing when we put up walls. Walls don't let anybody in, not even the good stuff. Boundaries, on the other hand, yes. Boundaries tell people where the door is. There's the doormat. Wipe your dirty shit on that, and then you could come in. Boundaries. And spirits like, walk away from the shit that doesn't serve you. Things that aren't changing. Things that are making you unstable. Things that you always have to waffle between. It's not a comfortable stage to be in. Yeah, you deserve so much more than pennies. Six of pentacles. You probably work in jobs right now that you're you're putting more effort than you're, you're getting. And they're like, you deserve so much more. You have no idea. All right. I do love the ending. The world. You're getting it. Strength. I want to see, though, why that's there. Why is that there? The Empress. Oh, that's right. You know your value. You know your worth. And you know what you're birthing into this world. Aries Jr. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're birthing yourselves uh, is what it feels like. A whole new you. You're damn right. You are remaining focused. And you know it. And now it's like you have like a fire lit under your asses. I know you do because you, you must be feeling at the tail end of your hermit mode. I know you're, you, you have a little bit more to go. I can see it. I can feel it. But you're almost at the tail end of it. It's like I almost feel like uh, at the end of the summer going into fall, you're somebody else. And you're going to be a force to be reckoned with. The chariot. Some of you could be dealing with the cancer. Taurus. Leo. Capricorn, Leo, Virgo. Anyway, those are the big signs that came out in the major arcanas. Regardless, you are remaining focused on yourself and birthing something into this world. You're like, fuck it. Come hell or high water, negative or positive, I'm going to get this shit in the hole. I'm going to get this ball in the hole, and that's it. Hole in one, I'm out. I'm going to remain focused like this, and I'm going to go. And when you do that, six of wands success. Not only will you have success, you will have support behind you too. A whole entire friggin' support system. Friends, family, whatever. It doesn't matter. You're going to get the acknowledgement and the kudos. That's what's going to happen to you. You're going to get validation, vindication. Think about this. Alice in Wonderland, when she goes through the whole entire gamut, she does go through a journey just like your life does. At the end, from all her experiences, as she went through all those tribes and tribulations of her journey, she collected these friends, she collected this advice, she collected these people, and these people came to bat for her at the end of the day to help and support her. That's what's gonna happen to you guys because you are remaining focused on your agenda because you're realizing your worth and your value. You know that you're the Empress. You're like, all right, yeah, I get it. It's lonely at the top, but you know what? I need to find somebody who's gonna match me at my level anyway, and you will. And you're, you're using that strength to wait for it. And I know it sucks, but you're doing it. And that's what's gonna start your new chapter. And Spirit's gonna be like, God damn, they deserve good shit and I will send it their way. Now, let's get Romance Angels. And see what they got to say. Romance Angels, in the advice. In the advice, what am I saying? In the extended which is the link down below. We're going to go and see how your person feels about you, their intentions towards you, and their actions towards you. Because let's like do a little bit of a deeper dive into the devil over there, and we're going to clarify whatever pops here. 
Uh, let's see. University of the Spirit Guides. What's going on here for Aries, please? No. All right. That's what I knew. That's what I felt from the beginning of this reading. Finance and careers. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Yeah, because you're focused on it. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want to do so that it comes to you now. You, I, I suspect, guys, very soon is because of you waffling over here with this person when they come in contact with you and you're not going to know what to do. You're going to be a little bit nervous because you're not going to be willing to take a risk. So Spirit's like, well, if you're not willing to risk it and you want to move on energetically, let us know because then we're going to bring somebody new to you, energetically speaking. Um, let me get a card from the House of uh, Wisdom, House of Night. Universe, Angel, Spirit, Guides, what advice do you have for my beautiful Aries? All right. Aries, please. Wow. High Priestess of Spirit. Don't you know it? I'm telling you, you guys are becoming wiser by the freaking second. I am Nyx, Goddess of Night, and you have chosen this symbol to help guide you on this journey to find an answer to your question. Consider that this is an invisible spirit within all living things. Now that all things, events, experiences are woven together like a magical web that can be only seen in the darkest night and not by human eyes. My child, everything that you need to know is a part of the divine scheme of things. A meaningful coincidence, a blessed friendship, a lover, a significant experience are all orchestrated by me to help you become the powerful being you were meant to become. No matter what is in front of you, something important is brewing. You will know the answer to the what soon enough, but I keep the secret why. You may step forward knowing that some things are meant to remain a mystery. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? It's exactly what it's telling you guys. You are being prepped for big things. All right, guys. For those of you that are members, I'll see you over at the extended. Everyone else, see you next week.